to Twitter. The LA Kings, we have acquired forward Pierre-Luc Dubois from the Winnipeg Jets in exchange for, count the number, Alex Iafalo, Rasmus Kupari, Gabriel Velarde, and a second round draft pick in the 2024 NHL draft. That's four for one. Dubois agreeing to terms on an eight-year contract. We're told that that's in the neighborhood of 8.5 per year. I turn to you, Rupper, right away, and I say, whoa. This is a seismic shift. What do you think? It's a big move, and we knew that the LA Kings and the Montreal Canadiens were kind of the two front runners here for Pierre Luc Dubois out of Winnipeg. And Winnipeg's got that tough situation, but not just him. It continues on with, you know, you got Connor Hellebuck, Mark Scheifele, and then obviously Blake Wheeler. But uh, this was kind of the first domino, if you will. I mean, it's a big move for the LA Kings. I mean, the LA Kings are getting a big centerman who those guys don't come around very often. You know this, right? Yep. Like, they're hard. You don't pluck those off of trees. And, uh, you know, if, if, if this guy dig in here, uh, dig, digs in here in LA. We understand. <laughs> Uh, I think he could be a huge piece because they've already got a pretty strong center ice. So we'll see how this pans out for yeah. L.A. And it's a big piece because he's got Kopitar to learn from. What we talked about last night and uh, where they smoked this fire and it finally got ignited for this deal. But I think it's a good switch for the other side too. Who yeah. they picked up, uh, you know, they've gained the same amount of goals back. Uh, you know, both Iofalo and uh, Velarde are pretty good point productivity for them uh, bring some speed to their lineup you know along with Ehlers and Connor so it, I think it's a big plus for both teams and uh, it's going to work out for both ends of it. Rupert we were sitting in these exact same seats this past season and you made the point about Pierre-Luc Dubois it's why you said digs in because this is a guy who has moved around. Yeah. It, that was that was key uh, word selection by me as far yes, as digging because I want to see him dig in somewhere. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's got all the attributes. He's got the size. He's got that meanness. Remember, part of that uh, historic first round matchup against the the Tampa Bay Lightning mm -hmm. when uh, he was awesome. He was a bull, he was in bully mode in the playoffs, and, and when he can do those types of things, he can really elevate a hockey club. The, the concern I have, I, I don't, I don't know him, but I don't know what the maturity level is. I know he's 25 years old and he's had more opinions on where he should play than most should have at that age just dig in you're in the National Hockey League bud and he's got it paid handsomely a big deal yeah. I want to see him it's always been Montreal has been in that background that, that, that he still hasn't played in Montreal so I just I don't want to hear any more of that mm -hmm. just put your head down work hard and play and if he does I, I'm a big fan of him what he can do on the ice but I think he's able once he can dig in somewhere and be a part of something like this a good team that can consistently be good which this Kings team should Hopefully this will help him kind of move up to that next level. Well, they made a big commitment, eight years at 8.5. That's a lot of money, and uh, they're expecting big results from this and uh, hopefully getting by the first round with him next year, especially with their size up the middle and uh, the scoring prowess. You know, he brings 70-plus points to the lineup, and uh, I think they need that part themselves. Uh, Los Angeles moving forward uh, through the playoff rounds and uh, using that size.